Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, I'm gonna be taking you guys through all of the rooms of my house and showing you my Christmas decor. This is the first house tour video that I have filmed and I've been doing so many renovations. I know a lot of you guys have requested this video, so I really hope you enjoy it. And if you are new here, my name is Meredith. I make lots of lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, and homemaking motivation videos. So if that is something that you're interested in, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe before you go. I would love to have you. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I wanted to start out in the kitchen because this is the largest room downstairs and it's probably the space in the house that I spend the most time. So I'm gonna do my best to let you guys know where everything is from. And if I skip over anything, then check the description box because I will try to remember to link as many things as I can. But let's start here um, on my left at the bar cart. So I didn't do a whole lot for Christmas here on the bar cart this year. I just put in a couple of festive straws. I love these straws here and they're from the Grove Collaborative and I always have that link in my description box for um, getting a free set of Mrs. Meyers products. But I picked those up this year and then I just put this little tiny tree on the cart as well as this little sweater that goes on a bottle of wine or champagne. I just love this. I think we got it as a secret Santa gift or something last year or the year before. But I just didn't do too much here on the bar cart just because mostly it is taken up with drinks. But I did put out some little Christmas napkins, cocktail napkins. So there's the bar cart. And then I didn't really decorate over here, moving over this way. Uh, this is kind of where I do the majority of my prepping for like making meals and things. So I try not to clutter this up too much. I just got my KitchenAid mixer and um, usually some baked goods in the little clear dish here. And then this little small dish, actually I'll zoom in so you guys can see this. This is a gift. Um, some friends just gave this to me the other day and the base here is marble and then the top here is the little glass dome and I love it so much. I just threw a little bit of candy in there because I needed to fill it with something. So I just think that's so cute. It would look really sweet as like a cheese board with some cheeses and things inside of it. But anyway, that is basically everything on this side of the kitchen. So now we'll move over to the other side. Okay, so first thing I did over here was I just lit a little candle. I always have some kind of candle here on my noodle board. And if you guys wanna know how to make this noodle board, um, I did a video on it a while back, a couple of DIY videos. And then I just put this little Christmas tree farm sign here. And I like it because you can read it when you're standing a little bit further back away from the stove area. So that's nice. And then I always have like a Christmas towel. It's not very straight right now, <laughs> but I always have some kind of like Christmas towel or something just kind of hanging here on the stove. So that's what I did there. And then moving over here, I didn't do a lot in this corner just because usually I'm using this area to cook, but I found this little lantern at Hobby Lobby this year. It can work for all seasons. And then I've got a little sign that says, eat, drink, and be merry. I love that, perfect for the kitchen. Or I could put that on the bar cart, that'd be really sweet. Have a couple of cookbooks over here, some of my favorites. And then moving over this way, um, I have not put out my winter scented hand soaps or anything, but I'm still kind of finishing up the mum scent. So this is my view of the kitchen here. And then over here is where I did my tiered tray. And I love having the tiered tray over here by my little coffee station. This is just the space in my kitchen that I love the most because it always gets me so ready in the morning when I have a cup of coffee and I feel alive and awake. But um, anyway, over here I just did a couple of little hot chocolate spoons in a festive mug. And then my tear tray, if you guys watch my decorate with me part one, then you'll see how I put this whole thing together. But the majority of this stuff is either from Target or Hobby Lobby. And then I just put a few little spoons that I use to stir my coffee with here at the top. This little cup is from Hobby Lobby. These little galvanized houses are from the dollar spot at Target. Um, this was actually an ornament and I mentioned this in my Hobby Lobby video, this lantern here was an ornament. This fresh cut Christmas trees was an ornament. I just um, cut the little 
hanger off. I have a little lantern, a little white lantern back there that I got off of Amazon. A lot of these I can use year round and then I just kind of added in some seasonal items. So I really love how that turned out and the tray itself is also from Hobby Lobby. I got it quite a while ago, but they probably still have it or something pretty similar to it. But anyway, that is the whole kitchen. And I should mention, um, if you are looking for a spot to hold your cookbooks, I will try and link that um, cookbook stand if you are into cooking. I got that at Michael's a while back, but that is basically the overview of the whole kitchen. Um, in this door right here is my laundry room and there's nothing really special about it. I do have a renovation video on how I did the laundry room though. If you're interested, I'll link that down below. And now let's go over to the other side of the kitchen where I have my dining area and my table. So here's the kitchenette area that's off of my kitchen. I don't have like a separate dining room. I just have an eat-in kitchen. And all of my lights, I should mention, um, as you kind of see them throughout the video, they are all from Wayfair. Uh, I needed to replace all the lights in here. There actually used to be a ceiling fan above the kitchen table. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's really bright, but there used to be a ceiling fan above this table and it was absolutely hideous so it had to go and um yeah so i'll try to link as many of these fixtures as i can too but honestly I, they may be sold out just because wafer is kind of hit or miss but i would love to at some point do board batten here on this wall and do a bench along the wall with storage i think that it would just kind of fit the space a little bit better to have some built-in seating and you could probably get a lot more people around the table that way but anyway, this is what I'm using for now. Um, I've had this set of chairs and table. It was um, my parents and I've had it for quite a while, but I just have a Christmas little tablecloth and table runner. And I don't always leave the table set like this. Um, I do sometimes, but then if we're not using these place settings, I'll just move them over to the side. But I just really love the way that the table looks when it's set all the time. And then I have this little, cake stand. I believe the cake stand is from Home Goods, and then this little thing, it's just all one centerpiece and then I just put like a little tea light in the middle and I believe that's from Home Goods as well. I got that probably a couple years ago. I've had it for a little bit. And then all of these place settings are from the Magnolia line at Target and I love them because they really do work for any season just depending on how you pair them with your decor. But this area is just really simple for right now. It just feels very bare because there's nothing on the wall. I mean, at least it's freshly painted and everything, but I'm really anxious to get some stuff up on the wall here. I am going to be hanging something up here on this smaller wall, and you guys will probably see that um, probably in another video. Maybe in my next video it'll be up. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. I'll let it be a surprise, but it'll be nice to finally get some things on this wall at some point. So now let's head down um, this hallway here and I will show you guys the downstairs bedrooms. This is my pantry here and you don't need to see the mess that is my pantry right now. Maybe I'll be doing another organization video soon, but I just hung this little wreath here on the door handle. And then this picture here is up year round and that's from Hobby Lobby. But now let's take a little peek into some of these rooms downstairs and I'll show you what I did to decorate down here. Okay, so I stood over here so I could get a better angle because this is my downstairs bathroom. It is a full bathroom. I'll turn around and show you guys the tub in just a second. But I just did something very simple to decorate in here for Christmas. I just have a little hand towel. And then this soap here is a Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple Soap. And I just put it on this little, um, almost like a mini cake stand. I got that from Hobby Lobby this year. This is just a random votive candle in this little um, light candle container and then a little bottle brush tree. Nothing too fancy. I just don't really like when the sink is super cluttered and it's just a single sink. And then over here, I just have a little festive tree. And then this bar of soap smells really good. I haven't used it, but it, you can definitely smell it. Um, even like when you're not using it, it just smells really, really good. And then I have a candle lit always on the back of the, of the toilet here. I know some people like to do um, like the wallflowers, but a lot of times I'll just light a little candle. And then actually this is a nightlight in case you guys were wondering what this is. So it's not a um, wallflower, it's actually a mason jar looking nightlight. And I'll show you here, I'll show you what it looks like with the lights off. 
So it looks like a mason jar and I absolutely love this. I think it is so stinking cute. But I'm gonna turn around and show you guys um, the shower curtain. So this was like a last minute addition. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I picked this up at Kohl's and I just feel like it makes a huge Christmas statement in this bathroom because it was so inexpensive and it's such an easy way to decorate for a holiday without going like crazy over the top and spending a ton of money. But that's all I did for Christmas in here. Just super easy and festive, super simple. And then I usually just always have like a little rug here on the floor, but that's it for the bathroom. Okay, so this is my guest room and you can probably see, I didn't go crazy Christmas heavy in here. I did put a couple of pillows here on the bed, um, a little squishmallow that I have. And then this one says Holly Jolly Christmas. And then that's pretty much it. Um, I have a video of me when I completely designed and decorated this entire room. And there are tons and tons of links to everything in here. I haven't really added anything in here since that video. The only thing that is new to this room since the last time um, I posted a video about it is this dresser over here. So let me step back so you guys can see. Um, this was the dresser. If you guys have been following me for a while, you probably remember that this was the dresser that was in my bedroom upstairs and it just fits down here so much better. I got a different dresser to go upstairs. So now I have so much more space to store clothes and stuff like that so I can switch things out seasonally. But I love the way this looks in here. I was thinking about chalk painting it but I may end up leaving it. I really like it just because it matches the same color here as this bookshelf. But anyway, I just put a little tree up on top with some of my like pastel, more like non-Christmas colored ornaments. And I think that just adds that extra little touch of Christmas. So I didn't go too crazy with Christmas in here and I really haven't had any guests because of COVID. So not a big deal, but then anyway, that is the guest room. I did add this little rug in here too, because I keep a lot of my shoes in here and I was just finding that it was getting really dirty um, taking my shoes off. So now I have a rug. If it gets a little dirty, I can just throw it in the washing machine. Super, super simple. Let's go on to the studio, which is right out here. And some of you guys, um, I don't know if I've ever showed this in a video, but this is my linen closet. And um, I'll just show you what the inside of it looks like real quick in case you're curious. We do need to fix that. Some of the paint is peeling. But anyway, this is my linen closet. There's all kinds of like towels and some like first aid stuff up here, all my contacts. Um, and then down here at the bottom is a bunch of cleaning um, products. I've got like hand soaps and dish soaps and fabric refreshers, room fresheners, etc. Down here at the bottom is like toilet paper and some more cleaning products for the bathroom. This probably needs to be a little bit organized. I mean, the baskets are really nice and I feel like it's pretty organized, but I don't know. Maybe I'll include some of my closets in one of my next videos and we'll do like an organization video. That would be super fun. But anyway, that is the linen closet and now this is the studio, so let's go take a peek. Okay, so the sun's going down, so I'm losing a little bit of my light, but it actually kind of works because now you can see the Christmas decor a little bit better that I did in here. So this is the studio and I just love this room. I never could have told you, like probably two years ago, if you told me I was gonna have a room in my house that was just for playing music, I would never, ever, ever believe you. And I love this room so much. So if you watched my video where we completely redid this entire room, um, you would have seen we put Jack's trombones up here on the wall. We've got a lot of my um, posters here on the wall and then over here behind the door um, just for like some artwork and stuff. This chair is new. I don't believe I had this chair in when I did that renovation video, I'm pretty sure. And then I know for a fact that this table wasn't here because we just recently switched that out. And I just think this looks really nice. It just gives people a place to sit if I'm giving a piano lesson and they wanna wait for their kid and they wanna like sit in on the lesson, they can sit in here. And I just love how all the textures and everything turned out. It is so good. I cannot seem to get this picture to stay straight though. This is like the third time that that has happened. It just slides down in the frame. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, I have my little music cabinet over here. And then we did a Christmas um, music themed Christmas tree and I'm pretty much obsessed. But yeah, this is the studio. Nothing too crazy in here and not a lot to link. I'll link like the curtains 
Um, but everything else is like hand-me-down or it was thrifted or, you know, I really just kind of like how everything ties in together though. It looks so, so good. This is probably one of my favorite rooms in the house. I would say this room and honestly, this room and my living room are probably my two favorite rooms. So speaking of living room, let's go take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so here we are in the living room. I've got a sleepy little pumpkin over here in her perch, but anyway, this is the living room and I will do my very best to let you guys know where everything is from. This is by far my favorite room in the house. Like I said, I just absolutely love how cozy and warm it is in here. So let's start um, over here. So this is a new table. Um, not new, it's new to me, but my mom found it at a thrift store and I absolutely love the vintage look of it. It is so, so cute. And I just have a little candle here and some Christmas coasters. And then this is a bottle of room freshener from the Grove Collaborative. This is a like evergreen scent um, and I love these. And then um, I just did some Buffalo check pillows and I actually had those out for fall as well. And that's what I love about Buffalo check is it transitions so well from fall to winter. And I just have been using this giant blanket here to cover up the couch because I just think it feels so much more cozy like that. And then over here in this chair, I just have a little Christmas pillow, a little Christmas tree. Um, over here in the corner, I have this little flock tree and it has little string lights in it. I need to probably replace um, the batteries because they're still batteries left over from last year. And then of course, Josie's toys basically take up the entire rest of the living room. So here she is over here giving herself a bath. <laughs> and I do have um, a little garland here. And actually these are battery operated. They have battery operated fairy lights in them as well. So then that's what that looks like. And we bumped the TV up on to, this is like a little shelf. I wanted to mount this somewhere in the house and I still might, but for right now, it just kind of helps to hold the TV up a little bit higher. I would really love to mount this TV in here. I think it is the perfect size, but I'm a little nervous about mounting it on an exterior wall. So let me know if you guys have ever mounted a TV on an exterior wall before. For right now, this just kind of holds it up nicely elevated and then over here is the tree and I already have quite a few presents under here that I've wrapped um, and then you guys if you watch my decorate with me video you saw me decorate pretty much the whole tree and the tree was my parents Christmas tree that they let me have and then the tree topper is from Hobby Lobby all the ribbon is from Michaels a lot of the picks are from Hobby Lobby and Target and then a lot of the ornaments are mine, so a lot of personal ornaments in this tree. And then down here I have um, this little present, and I don't believe I included this in the decorate with me, so you may have missed um, you may have missed that because I think this was a last minute change. But I have this present, and all of this is on a timer. So the present and the tree, and then the garland up here is all on a timer back here, which I love. So I don't actually have to turn any of this on. But I do have a little remote here for um, these battery operated candles so I can turn them on and then I can switch the, um, the mode to candle mode and they will flicker like that. So those I have to manually turn on with the remote but everything else is on a timer which I really love. And then in here I have a box full of real birch wood and I ordered this birch wood on Amazon, weirdly enough. I just needed something small and decorative and that's where I found this. And then I got some picks in here, some little red wooden beads I kind of wrapped around. And then this basket here has like random pillows and blankets and then also this little gnome. He's hiding, but I love that. That was from Target last year. The pillow was a little gift. This blanket I believe is from Macy's. I think I got it on Black Friday like two years ago. But anyway, here are our stockings and mine and Jack's stocking are matching because I got those last year. We did not have Josie last year. So our stockings are matching and they are from, I believe, Home Goods. I could be wrong, but I love them. Love this little flannel scarf. And then I just got these ornaments from, I think these are from at home. 
but I got one with his initial and then one with my initial because I think it's a great way to personalize stockings without having to spend a ton of money on actually like embroidering or personalizing them. So I did the same for this year. I got a new one for Josie since we have her. And then I think this matches really well. I think like the colors and everything go together even though this one's different. And it makes sense since she's our pet. So she has a little paw print one and then I got another little J for Josie. And then everything up here, none of this is new this year. Um, so the garland I actually used on the outside of my house last year and thought it would look better in the house this year. And then I believe this piece, what does it say, piece on earth? Yeah, this piece on earth I believe is from, I wanna say Home Goods. got it a couple years ago. And then there's just a bunch of pine cones and little berries. These two little mice are so cute. These are a gift from my aunt have our little stocking hangers. Here's a little Ray Dunn candle. I never burn this. I, I've had it since last year. I just think it looks really cute. I'm kind of afraid to burn it. <laughs> I love it so much. And then more pine cones and berries. A couple of like candles up here I can light. And then over here I've got some of my bottle brush trees. This book stack was actually a gift and I mentioned it in my decorating video. Um, I'll link Jamie's Etsy shop down below if you guys are looking for a book stack. She does personalized book stacks. And then I love this. This is for a tea light. I don't have a tea light in it right now, but cute little reindeer. I just love this mantle. Like I said, this is my favorite room in the house. And then this is from at home. Um, I got it like over a year. Actually, I think I got it Black Friday last year. I think my best friend was with me when I got that. So like around the holidays last year. But anyway, that is the living room. There's Josie again. And you can see like the wreaths on the front of the house. And then once it gets a little darker, I'll usually turn on the candles in the windows. But I have a wreath over here on the front door and you'll have to ignore the fact that this stairwell is not done. So ignore that. There will be more upcoming renovation projects because this entire stairwell is not painted and there is no railing. So be on the lookout for some more reno projects. <laughs> but this little um, wreath here on the door, I love it. I kind of want to get some lights in it, but it has these little bells. I think I got this from Home Goods um, last year. Just very me. And I love the hoop style. I think it's super cute. And then this here is new, this little um, mat on the ground. And of course, there's always cat toys and cat beds everywhere. And this is from, did I get this? Oh, Kohl's. Yeah, I got this from Kohl's. Super inexpensive and I think it's super cute. But anyway, I will show you the whole living room now. So this is what it looks like when you walk in the front door. So if you were coming in the front, you would see the living room here first. And then the kitchen's in there. And now we're gonna head upstairs and see what those rooms look like. All right, so this is the master bedroom and this is what it looks like right when you walk in and I'm only gonna be showing you basically like this half of the room here because over here is like toys and it's not really decorated. So I'm just gonna show you the half that is decorated um, for Christmas and I'm gonna try not to step on Josie's toys while I'm doing that. Um, but this is uh, my new bedding, this plaid flannel bedding um, from Kohl's this year and I had mentioned that in a previous video and I will link it again because I really believe everybody should get this bedding. It's really soft and warm. So I just did a few Christmassy things in here. I will be able, I believe, to link the bed, my bed for you guys. Not these um, bedside tables though, unfortunately, because I got them on Wayfair and they are out of stock and then the lamps are hand-me-down, but I will be able to link the bed um, this pillow I got here this year from Sam's Club, and so I have some Christmas pillows now in every room, which is awesome. This is a garland that is pre-lit, and I can't remember where I got it from. It's probably just your standard 18-foot um, uh, pre-lit garland. And then this blanket here I used to just cover the duvet because my duvet is white and with the cat 
it can just get kind of gross, but um, I just use this blanket just to cover it up. And I really like multiple patterns and textures going on here. So really love that. And then I'll swing around over here and show you guys. Um, let me move this. Clearly I have a cat cause I use a spray bottle to spray her when she is um, being ornery. But this is all that I did over here um, for Christmas decor. And um, if you guys missed the video where I did this whole master bedroom, I showed you guys in that video how we mounted the TV and we set up like this dresser and the bed and all this. So if you're kind of looking for some ideas or you're thinking about mounting a TV, then check out that video. But anyway, all of this decor this year, um, half of it's new and half of it's old. So I'll kind of tell you where everything is from. So this lantern is... Um, a home goods, I believe, home goods find, and I got it because it can be used for all seasons and all um, things like that. I just stuck a little candle in there. This bird was a Secret Santa gift last year, and then this tree, um, they had a bunch of these in the Target dollar spot this year, just these little tiny flock trees. I think that one was three dollars, so super inexpensive decor here. I've had this um, for a couple of years. I want to say this is probably a home goods or a Target find just a little wooden Mary and Bright sign. I put it there just to cover up the Blu-ray player a little bit. <laughs> and then over here I have my Santa Sensi, which was, um, again, like a hand-me-down kind of thing. So I didn't buy that, but then I think this little um, house, you can put a tea light or a votive, probably a tea light in here, um, but I don't just because I have the Sensi here right next to it. But I wanna say that this is probably Target and I've had that for at least a year, maybe two, two years. I just keep some extra wax melts there for the Scentsy, but that's it. I mean, all in all, this was super inexpensive to decorate this little area here. I don't want to forget to mention this before I leave the room, but I did put this little joy sign. This is from Target this year, so I'll link it if they still have it. And it just says joy. And I thought it fit that little space really nicely just cause you can't put anything too big on that wall. I don't have a lot of wall art in here just because you know, the TV is hung up and everything, but this is the only Christmas stuff really that I did here in the bedroom. I'm gonna show you guys the office, but it's not really decorated for Christmas, but I know that some of you guys might be curious what it looks like. So I also wanna mention up here is this bathroom, which I'm not gonna show you guys because when we are ready to renovate it, I want it to be like, all in that video and right now it's a total disaster because we've kind of started to demo the bathroom so I'm gonna let it be a surprise but this is another linen closet that I have up here and I don't know if you guys can tell but every single room that we have finished or every single closet that's been done we have replaced all of the hardware so we have replaced all of the hinges on every single door and we have replaced doorknobs and things like that. So everything looks super, super clean, but basically everything that is up here is sheets, some extra pillows and blankets and things like that. These linen closets are not very big. And then down at the bottom, I've just got some extra like toiletry supplies and stuff, things that I don't use super often just kind of stay up here. But yeah, these closets are not huge. It's really not that bad just because I don't have so many bedrooms and I don't need like a ton of bedding, but definitely a small closet, but it's freshly painted. It has all the new hardware on it. So I'm really happy with it. Okay, so here is the office. And like I said, I did not decorate this room for Christmas. And actually in here right now, we have a giant mirror because this was the mirror that was hanging on the wall in the bathroom and we took it down and I'm gonna be posting it like probably on Facebook Marketplace just to see if somebody wants to come and pick it up because it's in pretty good shape. Um, so before I like take it to the dump or get rid of it, I wanna see if someone really could use it. So I've just been storing this giant mirror in here for right now. But anyway, um, this is, nothing has really changed that much in here. In fact, this room has kind of started to become a catch-all, which I'm really annoyed with just because I have so many unfinished projects. But I will try to link um, my filing cabinet here. This is a filing cabinet. I got it off Wayfair. I love it because it looks like a classy piece of furniture, but actually it holds all of my like records and files and things. And then... Most of the stuff in here are like Hobby Lobby, Target, Home Goods finds. And if I can link anything, I will. I've got some extra Christmas decor over here that I didn't know what to do with. Um, Ikea chair over here. These curtains are from Target. 
I have some Halloween, look, look at Josie, she's literally in there. Look, I see her. <laughs> she's literally in there. <laughs> some Halloween, I need to put that away because it's not Halloween anymore, but that was a little bed that a friend gave me. Um, this ficus tree, I think it's a ficus tree. I don't know, I don't love it anymore. I will probably end up selling it. I, I thought I wanted it in my bedroom and I'm kind of going a different direction. But anyway, that's that. And then everything over on this bookshelf right now is kind of a hodgepodge. Really need to organize that. I've got a little bit of um, wall art up on the wall too, which is nice. But anyway, that is this side of the room. It's just kind of a mess, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so reluctant to even show this to you guys. Um, and then my desk over here is just completely cluttered. And then I've got a bin of some Christmas decor that I need to put away. But this is the office. Nothing really much has changed um, since the office renovation video that I did. I haven't really gotten anything new or done anything crazy in here. I love it though. It's still such a nice space. It just needs to be a little bit cleaned up. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my internet family and definitely turn on those bell notifications. That way you don't miss any of my new uploads. And I will see you guys again really soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.